I think honoring yourself is is first begins with sitting with yourself and getting to know yourself, mm. right? I think how can you love something that you don't know? Mm. Oof. How can you love something that you don't know? Oof. And you know, so it's like it's about honoring yourself is about spending time with yourself. That's why I said this, you know, this season that we've been in has been, even though it's been uh crazy on one aspect it's also been a beautiful thing because i think people are discovering who they are and who they are not hey and so and so like i definitely think the the space of sitting with yourself understanding and knowing who you are and learning to love that person embracing all of who you are and now looking at yourself from a lens of curiosity not a a, a lens of shame you know and i think that's important too say that Um, again Purpose, you know, drop look, in the gym. <laughs> <laughs> Say it again. You have to look at yourself from a space of curiosity, not a space of shame. Mm. Yes. And, you know what I mean? Because it's yes. about asking yourself, like, you know, do I like the color red? Or what do I like? Who who am I? Why am I? You know, why do you know why do I like so for instance for me, like I love watching SpongeBob. Why do I like watching SpongeBob? But not asking, not asking from a place of shame or judgment, but just yeah. out of curiosity. And so I think we begin to honor ourselves when we spend time and get to know ourselves. And once you understand and you get to know yourself and you understand that that's who you who you are and that's all you got is you. Yeah. You start to have an appreciation for it, and then you start to say, you know what? Because I understand and know who I am, and I know that I'm worthy. And that's another thing too, like. You know, we're all on a quest, I think, of like becoming validated by something or someone, right? We're yes. valid the moment we come out the womb. And I think mm. that's 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 the beginning of self-love is when you know that you were valid coming out the womb. And 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 so like when you understand <laughs> I'm having church. I'm so sorry. I'm having, <laughs> I'm having church over here. Yes. Okay, keep going. No, no, you get what I'm saying? So it's like, it's like we have to, so we're all on the quest of this validation, this worthiness journey, right? Mm-hmm. And I think once we resolve that and we reconcile that, that we that we are valid and that all people can do is affirm that, affirm that we have worth, not give or sign worth, but they can affirm that we have worth. And, and, and you know, just co-sign. So like, yes, I'm yes. the best life coach. I'm the best life coach. You can affirm that within me, but you can't, say that I'm valid, you can't provide validation for me just because you say so. If Oprah were to say, Purvis, you're a great life coach, I already know that. We're, we're in agreement. We're in agreement. That's the key. Oh my God. That is so important that you have to, because it, it's useless. If you're waiting for somebody else to tell you, it'll never stick. Because then you ascribe the, so they have power over you. Yes. And so, and so your validation is predicated on them. And not on you. And not you. It'll never stick if you're waiting for somebody else to tell you. You have to affirm it for yourself. You have to affirm it for yourself. So that's why this journey is an inside job. That's why happiness is an inside job. Yeah. We have to spend time. We have to spend time with ourselves. That's how we begin to honor ourselves. You can only honor what you know. Yeah. The one thing about life that's beautiful is not, sometimes it's not either or. It can be both and. Mm. And, and so... While you may hold a space for that real reality that you are conflicted within your blackness, and but also there's a space that you can hold for beauty, right? And mm-hmm. honor which one that shows up at, at any given time. Um, I always say this to my clients, you know, life happens to us, but life also happens from us. And so I think it's about you understanding that you also are a co-creator in the mm-hmm. life that you want to have. And so um, when you understand that, you can focus on like, yes, we are being marginalized as people. Yes, you know, it's it's injustice. Yes, we there are disparities in us being black people. But guess what? There's also beauty. There's also power. There's also history makers. There's also change in the world. There's also, you know, black people, you know, showing up in spaces that we've never occupied before. There's also, you know, legacy. There's also, you know, it's so many things on on both sides. So both and so both can be true. Yeah. And so my thing would say, like, you know, honor this when it shows up, but also honor this. Yeah. So I'm not taking that away. I'm not taking that away and I'm not minimizing it. But I'm also in I'm infusing and injecting something else that's also true. Yeah. And so when so learn to honor this as well. And I think once you learn to honor both 
and you don't feel victimized and you feel victorious, mm. then you start to look at this thing a little bit different. You look at the, the marginalization, the disparities, you look at it a little bit differently because mm-hmm. you're, you're empowered because you also know that life is happening in front of you. And so that's a beautiful thing to know that something can come from you, that there's power, there's virtue coming from you. 